Get ready to match the stars. Ron Polillo, Red Summer, Charles Nelson Wright, Joanne Wally, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Flagg as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now, here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Raver. And Johnny Olsen and friends. Now listen, when we were do they were doing the introductory thing, you got all mixed up and you didn't get a chance to show whatever you wanted to show. Do you want to show it now? I want oh. I wanted to say hello to Iowa, but I couldn't think of how to spell it. And he gave me the wrong spelling. What did you give me? Oh, I just gave you the uh, thing to break the Japanese code, should the warrant break. <laughs> <laughs> what are you eating? Eating is not allowed on this show. I Stop know. that. I know it. Okay. I'm ashamed of you, Pat. Right. I know it. All right, shall we begin? Why not? All right. <laughs> Let's say hello to Carol Biddick and Sharon Rich over yeah. here. Now, this little lady, she keeps rolling along like Old Man River. She's got a total of $14,750. And last time we started another game, and uh, Sharon Rich, her challenger, had her question match two of our celebrities, and your first round question will be along in a moment, right? Right. All right, we'll see how this game ends in a little while. Right now, this message for you. Now, press on. Round one, final question in this round. Carol, this is yours. Dr. Jones, the plastic surgeon, is a little strange. <laughs> After he fixes your nose, he blanks it. Got it. Good. Good, Can good. We just keep doing the same yeah. little ad. That's Can right. Have a great rap for yeah. Yes, we're going to the Glendale okay. uh, Country Club dance <laughs> later in the week. All right, Carol. Dr. Jones, the plastic surgeon, is a little strange. After he fixes your nose, he blanks it. Blows? He blows it. Blows. <laughs> After he fixes your nose, he blows it. Now, don't give up. Don't we will give call up. Mr. <laughs> They'll match, watch. No. Uh, he breaks He it. breaks it. You thought of that, and you rejected it. Okay, you do your thing. You got the 14750 I ain't. What did you say? You don't pay the bill, he grabs you by your little collar, he goes, boom, and he breaks it. He breaks it. I we see if you don't see it. We met. Yes. We met. Yes. Thank heavens. <laughs> yes. Stay tuned tomorrow for more of The Young and the Restless. <laughs> <laughs> he breaks it. So, she's looking for the answer after he fixes your nose he blows it what did you say joanne doesn't look good for carol he breaks the beak he breaks the beak and richard he fixes it he fixes it first and then he now miss caution curves I say he kissed his. Oh. He kisses it. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, yeah. Fanny, that well, is so romantic. Kiss my nose. <laughs> isn't it? Here we go to round two. Sharon, it's up to you. I'll stick with B, please. B. <coughs> All right, at this moment, the score is two to one and a round one. Sharon's ahead, and two people do not play. Ron and Brett do not play. The rest of you, if you would, please. A terrible tornado hit Susan's house. The wind was so strong. How strong was it? How was it? I'll tell you. <laughs> the wind was so strong it screwed her into the blank. <laughs> Sometimes not a bad idea. <laughs> Do you like that? All righty. Did you buy that? Stay on you. Okay. Okay, oh, Charles, very good. Along, Thank you, my dear. You 
welcome, sweetheart. If I didn't bring club soda on the show, you'd die of thirst. It's so hot up on the stage. What is that? What do I smell back there? Club soda from club Russia. Soda. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> now, now what did I do with the question? Oh, here it is. Everybody right over there? Sharon Rich. A terrible tornado hit Susan's house. The wind was so strong, it screwed her into the blank. The bed? The what? The bed. I don't understand your accent. What are you saying? B-E-D, bed. Oh, into the bed. Oh, at first I thought you said into the bay. Bay, B-A-Y, as if the, an ocean. Uh, Charles, what did you say? I said floor. I'm moving into the floor. All right, floor is pretty good there. Joanne? Well, she happened to be in bed at the time, and it screwed her right through the bed into the floor. Into the floor. And Richard? Well, I was determined. I thought you'd either say floor or ground, and remember the boo-bra, brouhaha that we had? <laughs> I thought I'd catch him this time. I said screwed her into the floor, and consequently the ground. Into the ground, yeah. But you fooled me. <laughs> you said bed. You see, she was standing up when this wind came, and just spun her around so fast, and went right down into it. What do you say? I said floor. I'm floor. Sorry. Well, that was... That would have worked for you very well, Sharon. <laughs> now, it's up to you, my dear. One to tie, two to win. Ready? Dumb Donald is so dumb! Oh, how dumb is he? I'm how gonna dumb tell you he? how dumb he is. When the baseball coach told him they were going to catch flies, Dumb Donald brought along a blank. <laughs> Who does not play? Richard does not play. I know there's a one. Dumb Donald is so dumb when the baseball coach told him they were going to catch flies, Dumb Donald brought along a blank. The baseball coach. The baseball coach. Said, we're going to catch flies. Now there's the operative phrase. Yes. yes. That's the operative phrase. He's right. baseball coach. Said, we're going to catch flies. Dumb Donald brought along a blank. A blank. A blank. Where are you going after you shave, Charles? I have an electric razor in my dressing room. I'd be glad to lend it to you. Haven't you ever seen a rugged man before? <laughs> Yes, and it gets me so excited. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, this is the old space. <laughs> right. Everybody ready? Yeah, yes. I will by the time you get there, huh? Okay, I'll start walking. You walk. I'm done. I'm finished. Hello, Carol. Hi, Jean. Everybody ready? Yes. Dumb Donald is so dumb. When the baseball coach told him they were going to catch flies, Dumb Donald brought along a blank. Fly swatter. Yeah. Fly swatter is good. Uh, fly swatter is good. Ron, what'd you say? Fly swatter is good. Fly swatter is good. Score is two to two now. One more fly swatter will win the game. One, One more, more fly swatter will win the game. Right. <laughs> oh, it's such a pleasure not to be the villainess for a change. Oh, fly, fly swatter wins the game. <laughs> Sharon, it was a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> this lady from Amherst, New York, right. outside of Buffalo. Right. We've got gifts for you together with our thanks. Thank you. And while she's spinning off, we'll spin these messages just for you. Okay, Sharon Rich. Here's Carol Biddick, who's up here for the number sixth time. She has at this moment $14,850, and she could go over $20,000. If you go all the way, yeah, you could go over 20,000. That hasn't happened in a long time on this program, over 20,000. Let's find out if it happens. Carol, we polled a recent studio audience and we got their best response to this. James Blank. Now, the answer that bunch gave most frequently, remember, is worth 500 if you match it, 250 for the middle, and 100 for the bottom. Okay, who do you call on over here? Charles. James Dean. James Dean. Danny. Um, now wait a minute, I can't get rushed here. Uh, no, I, 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 you would garner a few votes if you said a certain uh, actor's name. Huh? <laughs> What'd you want? Nothing. Is he English? <laughs> wait a minute, did he do a lot of movies? No, I think it would be uh, James Cagney. James Cagney's oh. one. Oh. Um, Richard? 
What do you say? There are so many. I'll yeah. say a friend of mine, Jimmy Kahn, James Kahn. James Kahn. He hasn't had a mention on the show for a long time. Long time. And from yes. that reception, it's just as well. I <laughs> James Kahn, James Dean, James Cagney. James Dean. That's the first thing I thought of. Really? You think she's right or wrong? <laughs> the audience is divided. Cagney, they say Cagney. Some of them say Cagney, some of them say Dean. What? Oh, James Bond, they're saying. Who? Oh, Bond. James Bond. Interesting. James Bond. You don't remember name, her? Name well, really. really. Okay, the one she chose is James Dean. Let's find out if he's up there. May we begin at the bottom and reveal the $100 response? Garner. Oh, is what? he going to be my favorite mad. actor? Really? You, should, you didn't even think of him. Oh. How soon they forget. <laughs> James Dean, are you under the $250 number? <laughs> Dean, it is. Congratulations. It's going to be Cad Mason. James Mason, right? It's going to be Cad Mason. It's going to be James Mason? I think it's James Mason. No, they think it's going to be James Bond. James Bond. James. I think it might be James Mason. Here we go. May we see it, Earl? They're always right. There's a good, smart audience we got out there, John. They're okay. A <laughs> little unruly, but smart there. Now, you got another $250. you are over 15000 now for your total cash. And you're going to play for another $2,500. Remember what you have to do to collect. Whom do you call on? Charles. There we go, Charles. Ready? Charles, Charles, that's all she ever says. <laughs> This is it. It is worth $2,500. Sunday blank. Sunday blank. Sunday blank. Sunday blank. Sunday blank. Sunday blank. A couple of goodies. Yeah, they are. Ready? <laughs> okay, he's finished. Now, Carol, it's up to you to give us an answer which you think will match the one that Charles Nelson Riley has already written and put in that slot. What do you say, Sunday? This is just a shot in the dark. I'm going to say Sunday Papers. Sunday Papers. All right, Charles, she says Sunday Papers will I'm match. I'm sorry, it. I thought of that, but I really did. I said Sunday morning. Sunday oh, Papers. No, no. You thought of that first? Yes. And you didn't say yes. You see, Always there's, follow there's your not, first There's not instinct. one that's that on the nose. Sunday papers. I, I love Sunday papers, but maybe she hasn't time you know, to read them. Yeah, but she, she said her first thought was Sunday morning, which I was know, your first thought. I know, but that's also a boring choice. No. I mean, about, if it was blank Sunday, it would say Easter Sunday. She would add $1,250 more. <laughs> the blank was in the wrong place. That'll be enough, Charles. <laughs> enough out of you, or I'll send you to your room. Don't argue with a guy with a beard. <laughs> Show me one. Now, we've got $15,100 for you and another player. Let's welcome Gwen Fury. Sunday School. How about that one? Hello, Gwen. Okay. Now, Gwen Fury, we welcome you and we ask you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, my name is Gwen Fury. I'm a student at L.A. Trade Technical College, majoring in journalism, and I'm currently employed by a newspaper company. My hobbies are modeling, photography. Modeling? And I'm just happy to be here. Well, we're happy to have you, Gwen. Good luck to you. May we ask you to make a selection? No, nope, you do not make a selection. They just held up the commercial card in the nick of time. And we're going to have a little commercial, and then we'll come back to Gwen. Okay? Okay. Today's Constellation Prizes are first. From Amity, a ladies' three-piece ensemble featuring the ultra-French purse bills easily removed from hidden department through the chain's purse, Amity. And Hager double-knit slacks, contemporary styling with a comfortable fit. They're machine washable in a wide range of beautiful colors and patterns, Hager double-knit slacks. And four gallons of True Test Easy Care Latex Flat Enamel, a scrubbable flat finish latex enamel exclusively from True Value Hardware Stores. And a shopper stove from Parsons Ammonia.
Freshens every room, walls to windows, costs little, cleans a lot. Parsons, America's number one selling ammonia. Old McDonald had a farm, and on this farm he had a blank. And maybe we'll hear more about it when Match Game 76 continues in a minute. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Here we go. Ready. Oh, I already did that. So now you have A or B, Gwen? Um, B. B? This is it. Okay. Ugly Edna went to a beauty expert for advice. Aww. He took one look at her and he said, Ugly Edna, my advice is for you to go home and stick your head in the blank. <laughs> went to the beauty parlor. Yeah. Those kind of questions just make me want to cry. I this feel is a so terrible sorry question. Sorry for poor little ugly. Yeah. 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 Well, we're just funny. Yeah. Nobody's, well, we're just sad nobody's little, that ugly. They're sad, poignant little stories yes. about life, aren't they? Okay, put that in the slot. Slot, slot. Ready? Here we go. That's it. D. Hello, Gwen. Hi. Ugly Edna went to a beauty expert for advice. He took one look at her and he said, Ugly Edna, my advice is for you to go home and stick your head in the blank. Go home and stick your head in the oven. In the oven. <laughs> in a wonderful answer. Ron, what did you say? Well, I said, Oven! Oven! <laughs> Little kid from Welcome Back, Connor huh? scores again. Here. Hello, Brett. Hi, Han. You know what? I thought possibly that drowning was less painful, but I suppose it is, and I said stick it in the turlet. Yeah. <laughs> Charles, this uh, phrase, stick your head in the oven, does that remind you something of a scene? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, an art play. That's Bye right. Bye Birdie. Yeah, well, remember when the mother stuck her head in the oven? Yes. Now, I still don't you... have oven on the car, don't oh, I? Oh, I thought maybe it would be a terrific lead-in for no, if you had I it. Had a, I have a beard and I'm chopped and I had a boxing lesson this week. I said toilet bowl. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. So he said, ugly head, my advice to you is go home, stick your head in the oven, according to her. What'd you say, Joanne? Well, I, she's right, because that's the classic uh, picture, in that's the oven. Right. right. Okay, two for Gwen. And Richard. Remember the play we did together? The whole thing? Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Birdie? Birdie, right. You remember the... Yes, the scene where the mother says, I'm ending it all, and she sticks her head in the oven, doesn't even turn on the gas. Exactly. Oh, then, yes, I remember. Exactly. Right. What? What? Nothing. So Nothing. Loving, like something from the oven. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? You got that wrong. Wow, we four in the first <laughs> round is amazing. Amazing. She's clever. Now listen to this one, folks. Oh, okay. Anne said, I am never going back to that psychiatrist. Oh, While I was on the couch talking, he wasn't taking notes. Instead, he was taking a blank. I got that one. That happened I got it. I did. And you paid $50 anyway. <laughs> no. While I was on the couch talking, he wasn't taking notes. Instead, he was taking a blank. <laughs> Oh, he has a nice answer, dear. What is it again? <clears throat> Anne said, I'm never going back to that psychiatrist. While I was on the couch talking, he wasn't taking notes. Instead, he was taking a blank. Well, kid. Now, now wait a minute. Kids, what are I we going to do with him? His, heart, I, is, his I, heart is not in it today. What is wrong? Yes, it is. Where did we go wrong? <laughs> Gee. I don't know. I mean, do you have saying? the feeling he's left and may never come back, even though his body is still here? Okay, I will walk over here to Carol and oh, find out. Charles, put it in the slot when you finish. I don't care, that's how I feel. Carol. <laughs> Anne said, Anne said, I'm never going back to that psychiatrist. While I was on the couch talking, he wasn't taking notes. Instead, he was taking a... Nap. Taking a nap. Okay, Ryan. A nap is one. One for Carol. Brett? I went to a psychiatrist once and I lied down on the couch and the first thing I knew he was taking a good look. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Charles. Did I run that? You won't believe Charles' answer. <laughs> All right. Just Charles, I'm not going to believe. In advance, I'm saying I don't believe this answer. This was this doctor's 12th rug. <laughs> right. Tinkle. <laughs> you are, you're too much. 
<laughs> he couldn't think of an answer, so that's what he did. What'd you say? Yeah, well, uh, he, he was taking a picture of a look. <laughs> taking a picture. <laughs> All right, the answer that she wants is nap. Spell backwards, pan. Pan! Oh, so there's one for her. Now, what do you got for her, if anything? I'm so sorry. I said he was taking a walk. <laughs> taking a walk. <laughs> So at the end of round one, we've got a score of four to two in favor of our challenger, and now we've got this for you. Just a few seconds to congratulate Charles, who had a show open on Broadway uh, this week, uh, The Bell of Amherst, starring Julie Harris, to unanimous rave reviews. And the next time all of us are together, all of us will be together. Again. Tom Poston, <laughs> Rex Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Barbara Sharma, Richard Dawson, and Patty Doyle. How about them apples? Okay, Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. <laughs> This is Johnny Olsen speaking for Match Game 76, a Mark Gibson, Bill Todman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of the CBS stations.